If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. It would, it would really mean a lot to me. I would be forever grateful. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Today's video is going to be all the new releases in 2023 that I want to read. And this is from January to April and the first book on my list is going to be The Hustlers The Hustler Next Door by K.A. Tucker it's her it's book two in her small town romance series I still have to read book one but I put book two on here because the blurb sounded very interesting. The next book I want to read is Poison Roses by Tate James. It is a rock star romance. It is a Y choose romance. And it will be the first book I read by Tate James. The next book I want to read is The Muse by Emma Scott. It is Emma Scott's fantasy romance series. I believe it's book two in her angels and uh, one of in her series about angels and demons. I still have to read book one because I believe Book two is about a side character from book one. So I I, I really want to read that because I love Emma Scott's writing. The next book I want to read coming out in January is Manic. Is it the Manic by Only James? It is the last book in the Necessary Evil series. And it is about Thomas and Aiden. And it's a forbidden romance. If you know, if you had read the series, you'll know why I say it's forbidden romance. Because... Because Thomas adopted Aiden when he was 17. But in the first book of the series, we see that he wants to nullify the adoption. Because he is secretly in love with Thomas. So it's an age gap and forbidden romance. The next book I want to read is The Star-Cross Duet by Ashley Jade. The first book, The Choice, comes out on January 17th, 2023. And the, the next book, The Consequence, comes out a week later. January 26, 2023, so I'll just wait until both the books come out so I can binge read them together, but it is about one of Phoenix's band members. If you read the words by Ashley Jane, then you'll know it's about one of the other band members of Phoenix's band, and their PA. The next book I want to read is The Wi Wild by 
Makaya Smelter. It is also a rock star romance. The the only thing I know about that is one of the man one of the band members falls in love with falls in love with I think the manager's daughter or the CEO's daughter and they try to hide their relationship. But the the blurb for that sounded interesting so I Oh, I forgot. Also releasing in January, we have the Strong Heart Duet by Jennifer Hartman. And the first book, first book releases Optimus Guide to Heartbreak, releases January 17th. And the follow-up to the duet releases on January, January 31st. It's an Optimus Guide to Heartbreak, and the follow-up book is called The The Pessimist Guide to Love, and it's by Jennifer Hartman, and I want to read everything Jennifer Hartman writes. The next two books we have... Jasper Vale by J- Devaney Perry, and it is the fourth book in the Eden series. And the Eden series is my favorite series of Devaney Perry, so I'm so excited to read it. I still have to read the third book. Then we have Whispers of You by Catherine Cowles. And it is a spin-off to the Tattered and Torn series by Catherine Cowles. And it, it releases, I think, on January 31st. And I think it's a bodyguard romance. I'm not sure. Next, we have the releases for February. And the first book in February to release is The Rogue by Al Kennedy. And it is the second book in her prep series. And I still have to read The Misfit. But uh, I really want to read The Rogue because and The Misfit because the whole series sounded interesting to me. Then we have The Right Move by by Liz Tom Ford, and it is the follow-up to Mile High. It's, it's about Stevie's twin brother. Stevie is the heroine from Mile High, and The Right Move is about Stevie's twin brother, and her twin brother is a famous basketball player, and it's it's his romance with her best friend. So it's best friend's twin brother romance. The Husband Hoax by Saxon James. It's an MM marriage of convenience romance. And, it, and I really like the other books by Sex and James, so I will check. So that's why I put this book on my list. Next we have Vicious Bonds by Shinora Williams. I love Wanting Mr. Kane, so I'm very curious to see how Shinora Williams writes a dark fantasy romance because she announced it on her Instagram and it just looked very interesting to me. The next book is probably one of my most anticipated releases for the beginning of the year along with Manic. It is Powerless 
by Elsie Silver and it is about Jasper and all I know about this is the heroine runs away on her wedding day and it's a friends to lover and the, and it's a friends to lovers romance and I have read every single book by Elsie Silver and I love her book so much. I'm so excited for this book. Next we have Hyacinth by Minerva Spencer. It is the second book in her Bellamy Sister series. It is a historical romance. And I think the heroine is a bit of a tomboy. And she has a romance with a duke. Next we have Mafia Target by Mila Finelli. And it's an MM Mafia romance. And I'm excited for this one because this is about Fasto's son. Fasto from Mafia, Mafia Darling. I've been saying since book one that I wanted his son to get his own book so he can get his AGA because he just deserves it. So I'm very excited that Mila Finelli decided to write this mafia romance for the son. The next book on the list is Coach Me by Devaney Perry, and this is Devaney Perry's first sports romance book, so I'm very excited. I know nothing about it. All I know is the it's a romance between a football coach and it's a second chance romance, so I'm very excited. The last two books on my list is The Highest Bitter by Sarah Kate. It is book book five in the Salacious Players Club. I have given every single book in the Salacious Players Club five stars, so I'm very excited. Well, no. Eyes on Me, I think I gave Eyes on Me four stars, but I'm very excited for Highest Bitter. And the last book on my list is King of Pride. I still have to read King of Wrath, but... I'm going to read that. It is one of my goals for next year to read that book. So I put King of Pride on there to get me to read book one. Those are all the new releases from January to April that I want to read. I will put the release date down below in the description next to the book title so you can put it into your want to read list on goodreads i would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel that would mean so much to me and i'll see you friday bye